Okay, how are we doing? Um, how's it going today? Good. We're out in the field, and uh, over the last while, I've been uh, kind of just just combing through YouTube. What a plethora of information, eh? Isn't that amazing? Wow, people sharing their their uh, sharing their expertise and and sharing their their knowledge and and. Uh, and uh, putting people's lives in danger and uh, what a place anyhow <sighs> uh, I would thought I would take and I've been asked by a couple of subscribers to give them a little uh, I guess a tutorial I'm not huge on tutorials but uh, I just kind of go along and do my thing and, and if you can pick up something that's awesome um, filing a power saw sharpening a chain if you've got some guy and he, you're watching a video and he says uh, it's time to sharpen the chainsaw blade, turn the channel. Blade? There's no blades here. There's a bar and a chain. So all I'm saying is beware, okay? And if somebody's also telling you to pull up when you're, I mean, we file over top of a chain so we look at that top corner, right? That's what we do so we, we can fall in years ago, piece sharp. Well, if you don't have a gullet gun, and I'm gonna take two seconds and show you. With some of my videos I've done some, but I'm getting more in detail now. I just can't take it anymore. I've gotta, I've gotta get this kind of straight for people. See see the hook in the, in the chain? See how like this next filing, I'll pull out that little hook, but see the C? There's a little C there over on this side. Same deal. See it there? This is what I'm talking about. Sorry for the shaking around, but this is very important. See, from the top of this chain to the bottom of the tooth. Right there. You've got to get that gullet. It's called the gullet. Get it out right there. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a way. You'll, you'll hear guys tell you, and I'm going to put you right out front and center here so you can look at what I'm doing. Okay? And watch what my file does. You know, people stress on, on you got to just go like, and if you see another guy and you're watching somebody and he's going like this. And he's, and he's doing that. Turn the channel right now. Just turn the channel. It, it's, it, now, I know I'm ranting. I, I am, I'm ranting. I am. I don't like doing it, but, but sometimes it's needed. Okay. So anyhow. It's important to get that gullet. I'm, I'm way a ways down my chain here now. Quite a ways down the chain. But, um, what can happen is we get this slope back on our tooth. I'm talking about that side hook, you know? What, what can happen, say here's the hook. What can happen is we don't take the gullet out and we end up going back like this and it's terrible. It, it won't cut anything. I've seen a few on, 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 on the YouTube there and they're explaining how to do this and, and their title is like, this is how you do it and do you know how to do it and all this stuff and this is the proper way well it's not unfortunately it's one way to do it but it's not the it's not efficient it's not efficient okay especially if you're cutting all the time so anyways um i want to show you something that i call the boat and it allows you and it'll go it'll go against what you've learned i'll tell you that right now it will go against what you've learned watch my file Watch it to the end. See those strokes? See those, those last few? Okay. Okay. Here's the tooth I just filed. See it there? It's sharp as hell. Okay. See the side of it? Okay. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's it. There's no, that's it. That's what a chain's supposed to look like. It's plain and simple. I know you guys probably think I'm nuts. Uh, it, you probably do, but I'm just telling you, that's what it's supposed to look like. It's not hard to find out how a chain's supposed to look like. There is Google and YouTube. So what I do is I go down, if, especially when I'm getting back or if someone else passes me, they're saw and say, can you file this up? And I see this thing like this right now, I go like this. I mean, I can get it like this. I can just stay off. You know, I can do that but it's quicker to go. Okay, now I'm talking like this, okay? So now what's happening is you're going, 
whack. You're hitting the gullet, then you're straightening it out. It's a boat. You're hogging out that base. And then, once you're comfortable with where you're at with the, with the, with the uh, gullet, you straighten out your file for three or four strokes and you pull this thing clean. And you're cutting like a wild man. And I'll show you how this thing is cut. I'm not gonna do an extreme boat right now, but watch my file. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna file my power saw right now and I just want you to watch. Watch what I'm doing, okay? Watch the angle of my file. Gotta get that gullet, I have to. Yeah, like this one's been rocked like crazy. So a few hard strokes, get it down, get the gullet out, and then clean up strokes. There's another one that's been hit really hard with a rock. I gotta get it out of there. Now, now, now there's a gullet. Now this tooth is gonna grab wood. You see, it's gonna pull, grab wood, and wood's gonna go down and shoot out instead of go ping and shoot off the top and throw little teeny chunks of nothing. You guys, you get what I'm saying? I know you do. Because you're people of physics. You're smart people. I know you are. You've got to get it straight or you're going to be struggling and cutting nothing. And, and let's, these things can cut. You can get them cutting. Listen, um, experiment with things. Take, take, just to do it. Experiment. Do this. There's nothing wrong with going like this. There's nothing wrong at all. I know it goes against what you've been taught and what you've been watching on the internet, but I'm here now, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, that sounds awful. I've been doing this stuff a long time. So you, you, you can leave a comment. Oh, I think I'm done. I am. I'm done that side. Now, this is bad. Like it is. It's been hit hard down in the horse corral here. I think there might even be bob wire and steel in the fence. So here I go now. I've switched hands and I'm pulling out that gullet for four or five strokes. Now I'm straightening out my file and I'm dealing with a straight tooth. Boom, sharp. This one's not too bad. Do what the teeth do what the tooth tells you to do. If it's not that bad, don't 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 waste your time on it. Clean it up. Move on. That's what a raker gauge is for, okay? And I'll show you one when I run into it. I'll show you. See, these aren't that bad, and I'm a little stronger on this side, so I tend to get a little touch more of the gullet out on this stroke if I'm not really concentrating. So here's one that's pretty bad, so I'm just gonna grab that gullet and then change the angle of my file. Did you see that, guys? That was the perfect one right there. Okay? So down, see the angle of the file? And I start changing it right away, and I finish up with three or four strokes or whatever it takes to get it sharp. This thing's gonna cut like crazy. I'll take you down there and I'll show you. It's not gonna cut sideways or bent or twisted. You gotta flip your bars. That's happening to you. Flip your bars. Make sure this thing's... So I'm at work. That's why I'm kinda moving through this quickly and not showing you a bunch of detail right now. But I wanted to show you that thing I call the boat. If you look at your chain and it's do you know what I'm saying? There's no hook in it. There's a big gullet in the bottom right before the driver links. There's a big chunk of meat and then a hook. It's get rid of it. Take that gullet out of there. Go like this if you have to. Down, do the boat. Do the boat, man. Go for a boat ride. There. Or you don't even have to do the boat. If you're not comfortable doing the boat, if you find the boat kind of goes all over the place, then just file straight down. You know what I mean? Just go, then just go like this and get your gullet out like that. But it, it morphs into the boat when you start straightening out your file. Okay? So this chain is probably going to need... I saw one guy there, he had it going pretty good. He missed a few things, but he had it going pretty good. So I don't know the name of it, but there's a few on there that are adequate, but most of them are not. Most of them are just, they enjoy doing it. They like it. They like to have a power saw in their hands and cut wood. Of course they do. They're a man. We love doing that stuff. Uh, but uh, I, I think you should be qualified before you start tutorializing stuff. That's just me. It's just my opinion. Okay. I'm super comfortable telling you how to do this because I know how to do it. But if I didn't, you know, feel so comfortable about doing something else, I wouldn't be saying, hey, this is how you do this. I just wouldn't. That's just me. Okay? And I'm not trying to, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not trying to 
to gun anybody or, or, or I'm just saying be careful I mean I, I heard some stuff on there the other day that was was actually dangerous it was dangerous some guy was saying leave it loose leave your chain saggy at the bottom so you can see daylight through there or something that's not right maybe if you've been on the saw for for, for uh, 10 or 20 years and you're just bucking straight ahead firewood and you can use a don't mind a little slack in your chain but if you're you got somebody new on the power saw and he's slashing branches and topping and he'll flip that chain in no time he'll flip it within 10 minutes I'm ranting, I know, but it, it bothers me actually. Wouldn't it bother you if somebody was doing something that... Ah, forget it. I'll just carry on. So this chain should almost be done. Actually, I think it is. It's almost a little loose to be filing. You see how it's almost kicking back a little bit, see that? You want to have that chain tight when you're filing. If that chain starts rocking backwards, you got to tighten up your chain. Mine's borderline. Borderline. I'm still getting it to sit there, so I'm okay with that. There we go. I see a shiny tooth. So while I'm here, and I see this chain kind of doing what it's doing, we'll finish up with one little thing here. Um, I can almost guarantee you my rakers are a little high. doesn't seem to want to kick off. There it is. I reckon my rakers are high. I don't have a gauge with me right now. So I'm just going to give them a little sweep just to get a bite on the chain. Because you can be sharp as sharp as all hell, but if you if you if your rakers are, are the same height as your chain or a little higher, you're not cutting anything. And you'll wonder why. I just filed my chain. It's sharp. That Billy Ray showed me how to do it, and I did it, and it's not cutting. He's a dummy, that Billy Ray. Oh, I see. My rakers are shiny. Ah, that's what it is. My rakers are too shiny. They need to come down a little bit. That's what I'll do. And then your mind will be blown by how fast you're cutting through the wood. It'll be like, hey, now we're cutting. Now we're logging. I just put my thumb in front of teeth so I don't whack the tooth up. This chain's getting getting on. It's getting right on. Yeah, hey, yeah, that's got it. And how I know is I see sawdust, little bits of sawdust. So that's that. Now, final thing before you get going cutting again here. I am actually I'm good. I'm good. This is good. There's no sag here. There's none whatsoever. You know, but it's not screaming tight. If you can go that and see your drivers, if you can lift this up and see your drivers, like, and they start to disappear about right here, but you can get like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, get about 10 or 12 drivers up in the air like that, you're fine. Now, just because I'm going to finish this video with a cut. So you can see what happens okay let's go do it i want you to see this now so it's all straight in our minds what happens here there's victorious victor down there on a stump i'm about ready to climb this balsam so i'm going to show you what happens here now with this power saw okay ready vic Choke her up. And this chain's almost toasted, look. 
like look, it's, it's, it's damn near toasted. It's almost right down to the line there now, but all the teeth are pretty much the same size. And that was hitting the rakers without a gauge. So it actually has the potential to cut a little better, but it cuts just great. So just watch what you're picking up off the old boob tube there. Get her straight. Over and out, talk to you in a little bit. Thanks so much for watching the video. Like and share. And most of all, subscribe. I need some more subscribers. Okay, over and out. See you later. Hey, guess what? Hey.